The ministers were given an insight into the operations of one of Uganda's flagship energy projects, its achievements and challenges faced to date. Among the key issues highlighted was lack of spare parts and defects that continue to impede the smooth and efficient operations of the plant. Given the slow pace of correction of the pending snags and the compilation of the outstanding works and defects by the contractor excavated by the COVID-19 pandemic, we have the following concerns. The risk of the expiry of the final loan drawdown date of 21st December 2021 for the loan extended from 19th June 2020 before completion of project works could result in loss of funds to complete the project. B, the DLP extension, the defects limited period extension coming to an end without the contractor accomplishing the correction of critical snags. One of the means that you can critically observe that that's why we have always requested for extension of the DLP. 775 defects had been identified by the time of commissioning in 2019 and additional 584 have been identified since then. The defects are supposed to be fixed within a two-year defects liability period by the contractor. We will be able to settle. Our concern is that we will not face accountability problems in the future when the plant is finally, finally uh, given to us, managing it 100% outside the defect liability period and there are defects which are not handled. So that could cause a query. In March 2022, the liability period is expected to end, and once it ends, the contract Thai Chinese firm is expected to leave and probably leaves it in poor working conditions, affecting functionality. The contractor has promised that they are going to increase their resources so that we can be able to complete all these defects within the, the, the scheduled DLP extension of time, which is not very far. It is in March next year. All the technical problems could be resolved between by our team and uh, the OE team. Uh, if we cannot, I don't think anybody else in the world can resolve it. Shade that in Nasaku, UBC News.